It said, open the door. Now, she, now so this is talking about some shit that's getting ready to happen in the future. This is some stuff that's getting ready to happen in the future. So this is what they're scared of. This is some real stuff that's coming from a rat now. Listen. Open the door. If you don't open up the door, uh, open up the gates, I'm going to shatter the boat, and they shall, and I shall shatter the door post and, uh, and overrun the doors. And, and I shall raise up the dead, and they shall eat the living. And the dead shall outnumber the living. Now, hold on. Your physical body is an illusion, and that's life. The dead is your soul in the lower gastrointestinal tract. That's where your dead is. That's the dead old side of it. You see. And so she's saying she's going to raise up the dead to eat the living. They seeing this shit here and they scared as hell because it's coming from a rat. And remember now, the devil always knows when the time is over before the righteous. Why? Because they got people to sit in a damn room and all they do is they know the signs. That's their job to know. They sit in a room and they read every book and they do every tape and they know when shit is rising. You see what I'm saying? So they over there and stuff because they read this shit here and they scared. So they know that there's also portholes over there. There's also portholes because this guy is each charge over there. So they know that that's also a form of the womb, a part of a part of the womb in that particular area of this particular guy and they scared. So they go over there and they start bombing and blowing up shit. Plus, they also know that they got some other entities that's ruling this particular universe, and then all those entities are dying. So they want to go over there and take black soldiers over there with melanin, with a certain amount of melanin, and feed so that they can somehow kill these soldiers up so that they can feed to these gods. Because they ain't telling you, they lost more than they told, they, they told you. And they still over there fighting. They didn't even bring, they brought back two or three shiploads, and they're sick. I'll go in there in a few minutes, but they're still over there fighting. But they're not telling you because you only believe what you see on TV. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So they got the shit all televised. They be over there fighting. Remember now, I used to have a friend that used to be in the army in the damn 80s. And he said that them white boys, that they be on, they be out on the boat, on the ship. He said them crackers would fly in into that ship. It'd be a bunch of nasty, dirty, wounded. He said they go to one side of the kitchen and eat. And they have guns and shit. They'd be like, they'd be like living death. He said they go to one side of the kitchen and they eat in the mess hall and he said they don't talk to nobody and they don't do nothing. After they get through eating, they get on the, sh on the plane and they fly them motherfuckers out. So all of them, they was fighting these wars all around the damn world. So there ain't nothing for them to fight a damn war if they don't tell about it. How the hell are you going to know what's going on? Now stick with me here. Now, the key here is they went over there they, and then they tried to sacrifice these black soldiers to try to feed these spirits, but those spirits are dead now, so they can't do it. It's all in the Mahabharata house. The gods have a war. When the spirit, when, when man have a war, the gods have a war too. Now this is what's going on here. So, they go over. They try to get these artifacts and stuff so that they can somehow save themselves, and they try to blow up these particular places in these these portholes to try to seal them open or seal them, seal them in and stuff, but the shit ain't working because it's all spiritual. But what they ended up fucking up and doing is disrupting it. So with them blowing up stuff, they actually unleashed some of these things. Now, let's go on. Now, this is very important. This is very key. You can always go back. If you don't understand, go back and study the dog on tape. But I got to put this down. I got to put this stuff down. This is the book, Going to Evocation by Steve Sabado. This is the book talking about the demons of the jinn. All this stuff that you can find, you get the movie Wishmaster 1 and 2. You get that movie Laura Crafts Tomb Raider, Angelique Jolie. When they was going around the world and they were doing a lot of shit, and they was trying to fuck with some time and all this stuff here. Oh, Tomb Raider. Tomb Raider. That's what this shit is all about. Laura Crafts Tomb Raider. But then they had to have the woman to get on top of the penis to get the damn shit. When she got on top of that obelisk and hit that thing to open up to, to, to find this particular thing that's a device for time. Yeah. All that stuff is spiritual and this is all in these particular movies. Mm -hmm. Now, all that's in these particular movies, in a movie called The Guardian with Mario Rand Peoples and Ice-T. Very key. Yeah. The Guardian. Now, and I'm explain what this is going on in a few minutes. And I'm explain what, what that movie is going on and what's getting ready to happen with some spirit stuff. Now, in this particular book, on page, 
I think it's 71 or 72. Let me see what it is. Uh, um, Y'all bear with me because it's in this book. Um, uh, in this particular book, Boy to Evocation, if you can't get this book, by Steve Sabado. Uh, it's a book on the, on the um, it might be page 81. Yeah, page 81 in this book. They talk about some stuff that's happening in ba Babylon. Now, this is what's going on. But these assholes read this and didn't understand that the book was talking about the people that just went into Babylon a few weeks ago. And they was going in there and they did what the damn book said and they're so fucking stupid because they didn't read this shit the right way. And even when I even down did the stuff, I was thinking that it was, because you're thinking it's an ancient text, they didn't read it. It was talking about these motherfuckers going into Babylon a couple of weeks ago. And this is what happened. Now, Solomon is not, like I told you before, Solomon wasn't a historical figure. It's actually uh, a concept, but also the priest of Solomon. It's a priesthood. So the ancient priesthood of Osiris, of Solomon, and all this ancient black priesthood knew that there was a certain spot over in the desert. And they trapped some energies and some stuff over there thousands and thousands of years ago. Now, it says that there were 72 mighty kings and princes in which Solomon commanded into vessels. Those were souls. Remember, if you go to uh, see the movie uh, Serpent in the Rainbow, and some yeah. people down there in Haiti, they can put a soul in a damn jar. Yeah. Why? The soul can be trapped into uh, 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 your body, so it can damn sure be trapped in a jar. Remember, these are ancient masters. And because the white man don't validate it, and an old naughty head preacher, how the hell you know the shit ain't true? You know what I'm saying? You've been listening to an old guy. For all intents and purposes, the black preacher is one of the biggest idiots on the planet. That's why they give it to you. Okay. Dress him up in a goddamn suit is still an idiot. Either way you put it. That's one of the dumbest motherfuckers on the ever lived is the black preacher. The black preacher one of the dumbest idiots ever. You see what I'm saying? He's a staunch Jeff O'Bogey. <laughs> That's one of the dumbest motherfuckers ever lived, the black preacher. That's why they're giving to you in mass. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> That's why they're giving to you. You best believe that motherfucker had any issue, he'd be dead. Y'all better not play around with this goddamn bullshit, because you better know this fucking cracker does not bullshit. Why? Because that's why your son locked up. So I know what the fuck I'm talking about. If that motherfucker would have had any kind of inkling to have any kind of juice, he'd be a dead motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? And right now, you want to die? Go to that crap and tell him you lying up with Jesus and you will be a dead motherfucker because he know that's some fake shit that he gave you. And you don't know the real esoteric value of it. So anytime you say, I put my hands in the Lord, they know that the Lord, as a matter of fact, the ancient text in which the Jesus shit came from, because that shit was stolen from the Gnostics out of Egypt. And there they say that the entity that created the universe died about a thousand years after it created it. That's what it says in the ancient scripture they dug up in 1945, which is pre-Christianity. Ain't that a bitch? This guy has completed words. Oh, pre-Christianity. Well, I thought the motherfucker came 2,000 years ago brought a teaching that nobody else had. Then it's about pre-Christianity. Some shit they dug up in Egypt, 1945, the, 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 the Nag Hammadi text, the Gnostic text, and got all the teachings of Jesus up in there. And half the damn teachings end up in the fucking Bible because the damn Roman copied another motherfucker shit and then turn around and kill them off when the people say, that shit's fake, that's our shit. And you're trying to run this on the Roman people because they needed a new religion. Because the Romulus and Remus and, 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 and Jupiter and the Roman gods was dead. So they copied the Gnostic people out of Egypt and then turn, and them motherfuckers said, that shit they, they said, that Jesus is coming at the end of the world. And that's talking about somebody's soul. They said, no, we need some shit to oppress the motherfucker. So what they do is, they start killing them off. You see what I'm saying? So they know when you say, oh, I'm down with Jesus. Jesus, you Jesus. They say, he kill that fucker that. He don't even know the game. Huh. You know what I'm saying? Because he don't know that's some shit that we stole from somebody else and distorted. And it's talking about your damn soul. You see? So that's how this thing is going, going down. And then in that case, they say that the entity who created the world died about a couple of thousand years ago. Even in the year when they talk about older Dumari, but they really don't say nothing after the crea creation. He's a dead person. They talk about older Dumari, but you don't see him in the current text. That because the motherfucker been dead millions of years ago. You don't die after the man, Lord. You pray.
praying to God, praying to God. You know, which is ludicrous. That's like an ant saying, I know that God is, I know that Bob is up there watching over me. And I'm looking down at an ant pile, I don't know these motherfuckers from Adam. There's a bunch of brown motherfuckers up in there. <laughs> you think about this shit. But one of them brown motherfuckers said, I know he's real, because Bob is watching over me. You know. Entities. 